Easter for many of you is going to look a lot differently this year. I had a friend of mine that recently said to me, all I ever hear you talk about at church is about Jesus dying on the cross, rising again, and the birth of Jesus. And I said to them, well, how about you come to church more than twice a year? <laughs> because that's all I ever talk about at Easter and at Christmas. But the thing is, I want to bring to life, what is it, John 3.16, we hear it, we rattle it off, and we, we, it's so easy to say, but what is it like to actually have that as your story, as your personal story? For God so loved the world, that whomsoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. I want to share with you a story that, that um, has deeply impacted me over the years, and it gives us just a fraction of what it is that of the love and forgiveness that God has for us. When I was um, younger, I got to travel overseas, and I went through Europe and going to do some beautiful places. I went with um, my mate Cameron Smith, and we got to see some amazing places. But what stood out to me the most out of the whole, whole trip was I went to a concentration camp um, just outside of Germany. And uh, sadly, um, it is a, just a tragic story of how thousands and thousands of people were killed and massacred and gassed to death through the Nazi re regime. And I can remember going through this tour of this concentration camp and honestly, I felt sick. Um, even now, I still get sort of chills down my spine just thinking about it. And I can remember going to um, the, a gas chamber and you could see the scratches um, on the brick wall of people who were being gassed to death. And there's a story of Connie, she, she wrote a, uh, a book, um, and basically what her story and her friend um, Bonnie, they would hide um, Jewish children and Jewish people um, to save their life. And she got caught and she got thrown in this concentration camp. And sadly, Bonnie, her friend, was tortured to death. And in 1946, she's at a Munich church and she is, there sharing her story and her testimony and about the love and the forgiveness of God, but what ordeal that she went through. And we get to this place, she finishes and she's walking down and she sees this elderly man and he's got a beard and he's a quite a, a bigger guy and he's got a, a coat on. He reaches out his hand to shake a hand. She looks into his eyes and she realizes this is one of the guards, this is one of the soldiers at the concentration camp. And he, so she doesn't shake his hand and she, he said to her, I've done some bad things in my time and recently I've given my life to Jesus and I know that I'm forgiven for everything I've done and I'm sorry for what I've done. And he says, but what I'm asking you, what I'm asking you, he says, would you also forgive me? And it went, seconds went by, but it felt like hours for her. She contemplated, should or shouldn't she forgive her? She thought about her friend Bonnie and all the people and all the th evil things that this man had done to so many people. And eventually she worked up the courage, she stretched out her hand and she says, I forgive you. And at that moment, God, the Holy Spirit came upon her and she cried and she felt the warmth and love and forgiveness of God like never before. And this is just a fraction of the love that God has for you and I. And that while we were still sinners, Christ died, Jesus died for you and I. And my hope and my prayer is that that John 3.16 would be your testimony. It wouldn't be something we just rattle off and we've heard before, but it doesn't make a difference, but it would change your life. It says in 1 John 5, I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life. And my prayer is that this Easter, John 3.16 would be your personal story and that you would know without a shadow of a doubt that you live for eternity, but also one day you will be in eternity with your maker. And this Easter, I want to say bless you and may you know the love and forgiveness of Jesus this Easter. Bless you.